We're on the road again. Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan. About to take on the Detroit Red Wings. We're struggling hard here early on in this Be A Pro series. Josh Gordon is doing everything he can though with his limited ice time. Playing on a line alongside Dvorak and Dadanoff. Gordon's gonna try and get the first goal of the game. And he's gonna start off with a great defensive play there on Sider. His teammate levels a man, now he's got a break. He's around his man. Gordon, to the front of the net! Quick shot there, try to catch the goalie going the other way. And now the Detroit Red Wings are gonna counter quickly, Zadina! Wow, quick action here early on. Gordon wants to help elevate the Canadians to the next level. Centering pass there, Larkin! Gordon, get down! I think Gordon did get a leg on that. As it deflects up and out of play with 5.5 seconds to go. Gordon, nice check there on Bertuzzi. He checks him again, and now he's free. Gordon cuts through the zone. I'll just hold on to the puck and get a quick shot there. It's badly aimed, but, I mean, we weren't really trying to get a good shot there. We're just trying to play some solid hockey here on the penalty kill. The Canadians get on the board here. Doesn't say who scored the goal, but it's 1-0 Canadians here. Now we got to try and protect this lead. Bad line change there by whoever just changed for the Canadians. Gordon's late into the play here. And now there's a chance that goes off the post. Carey Price makes the save. Gordon will move the puck out to Dadanov. Jeff Petrie finds Gordon through the zone, and he'll try and chip it off the boards. Doesn't work initially. Tries to get it back, but Larkin's there. Now with a good play there by Romanov to muscle his man off the puck, and now we got a break. On man break. Gordon to the backhand. Brings it off the post. They say it was a well-aimed shot, but I don't really know about that. Gordon's now in the corner. Tries to feather it back there for his partner, Dadanov. Didn't quite work. And now he'll skate to the bench, defeated once again. The Canadians idle in their own zone. Now Gordon's got the puck and he's got a step. Gordon, to the front of the net. Stopped by Nedeljkovic. What a glove save there. Lucas Raymond. Check there. Gordon has taken a penalty though, and now he's leveled the body there on Raymond. It's going to be a high-sticking penalty, I think, for Gordon. And the Canadians will go shorthanded. They score. Jacob Vrana scores for the Red Wings. This game is tied. And coach, tall Marty St. Louis. Is not going to criticize us for being on a goal for a goal against there. Not going to criticize us for the stick infraction. Instead, we're going to try and get a goal for the coach. There's Murray with the puck. He gets it to Gordon. Gordon brings it into the zone. Gordon slows up, gets around his man, can't cut out in front. Ryan Fabry's there, and Fabry's got the puck now. Cider up to Bertuzzi. And the former Red Wing goes offside. And the Red Wings get two in that simulation to go up 3-1. At least it's not all Gordon's fault in this one. Here's Strawman. Oh man, I had him lined up there, but I kind of chickened out there at the end. and kind of lost sight of him. <laughs> Jeff Petrie. Play it back, man. Now Gordon will break it out. Tries to get it to Dvorak, doesn't quite work. And now Gordon will bring it in. Gordon will throw it around the net. Nobody there, but it's to the point. Gordon, great screen in front of the net. Can the Canadians get it to him? They do in the corner this time, but Gordon's quickly muscled off the puck there. And another Montreal Canadiens loss. Big third period for the Detroit Red Wings in this one. And the Canadians losing streak continues. Coach, what do you have to say to me? You can't complain what we did out there. And I'll say, as always, sure coach. The Canadians have lost five games in a row. And the coach has come to Gordon to say, you have to win two out of the next three. And look at Gordon, envisioning what's going to happen as he's about to take on the Vancouver Canucks. But despite asking him to get two wins, 
and the next three games, coaches decided to start Gordon on the bench once again. Here's Gordon trying to drag his teammates to victory. Gordon stops up, tries to get around Tyler Myers, but Myers has that long stick and that big body. He'll get away from Gordon there. Down off to Dvorak in front. Setting up in front. Can Gordon get the puck? No, he can't. JT Miller's got the puck, and he'll skate it out. We gotta get a goal. Let's see here. Dadanov tries to get it in, and it's quickly turned over. Brutal effort there from Dadanov. Looks like they're tweeting at me now. That's just interesting. Dvorak the shot. Gordon camped out in front. Creates a little bit of a screen. Romanov gets him the puck. Now Gordon's got it. He's behind the net. Gordon centers. Brock broken up there by Shillington. And he'll clear the puck. Gordon drops back there, misses the puck. Will create a little bit of a pick there. We know from Game 7 of the Leafs series last year that that's illegal. An interference. Gordon chips it in deep. Back to Romanov. Back to Gordon. Will use his own man as a screen this time. And a smart shot there is turned aside. And now Gordon's going to try and do it again. Gordon streaking down the side. He stops up. He's got a man going to the front of the net. Gordon takes the puck in. And it's broken up once again. Another power play opportunity coming up here for Gordon. For some reason, the power play clock never shows. Thanks, EA Sports, for that. But uh, we'll figure this out. Dadanov onside. Takes a quick shot. Stopped there by Demko. Travis Dermott. Check there for a second. But they'll clear the puck down the zone. Nobody's going to pick up the puck there for the Canadian. It's, and it's a turnover force. But now Gordon's away. Gordon breakaway chance on Demko stop by Demko Gordon holding up and waiting trying to find that empty space there that free space as Dadnov gets a shot as Wayne Gretzky says you want to go to where the puck is going not where it is right now or something like that Quinn Hughes with the puck Brock Besser JT Miller Tyler Myers Quinn Hughes look at this movement here from the Canucks that's movement we definitely cannot have we're covering the point here, doing our job here for the Canadians. And now Gordon gets the puck. That was a dangerous pass. Now Gordon's found Dadnov. Dadnov into the zone. Dadnov drops it for Petrie. Petrie in front for Gordon. Gordon comes away with the puck. He stops. He looks. Trying to get around Myers. It's a long shift for Gordon. And Myers finally takes him out. He didn't know what to do there. Defensively irresponsible at the start of a period apparently, but... If you win the draw, get him on the ice. I guess that's the way we're going with now. There's Dadnov with the puck. Gordon's got the puck now, trying to get around Tyler Myers. He can't. Tyler Myers is basically doing the Neil Pionk from last episode. Just preventing him from getting into the zone any way possible. Now here comes the Canucks. Nice drop back pass front there from Pedersen. The Canucks are all over it here, but Carey Price will make the save. Now here comes Coach. He's going to tell Gordon, you said you promised me a win. So once again, we'll say the star thing. And we'll try and go out there and get a goal. But will we be able to do it? Dadnov's got the puck. Dadnov in. Huge hit there by Gordon on Garland. Now Gordon's going to try and check Bo Horvat, And he takes a stick penalty. I was just trying to check Bo Horvat. I'm in the box. Will it cost my team? It will not. As I'm about to hop out of the box here. Can... Oh, someone just died. Someone just died. He's holding his head. Not sure what happened, but Bo Horvat must have got him. And now Gallagher is going to take on Bo Horvat here. Gallagher wearing the C in this franchise mode. I guess they didn't like Suzuki at all. Gallagher takes down Horvat. It's getting testy here. At the Bell Center, Gallagher raises his hands. And Bo Horvat looks like he's getting ejected here. He is. A five-minute major here for the Montreal Canadiens. Can Gordon finally capitalize here? He got a five-minute major for interference. Tall Marty St. Louis got his arms crossed. He hates his team's effort so far. Gordon got like two seconds there of power play time. And then Marty St. Louis was like, nah, 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 I'm calling you back. Five minutes to go in the period. Gordon hopping on the ice. There's a pass for Dadanov. 
The shot is stopped. Gordon's got the puck now. Gordon with a terrible pass there. Through the zone. Gordon on side. Gordon stops up. We'll feather it around the back of the boards to Dadanov. To the front of the net. Stopped by Demko. Gordon was available there with a tap in. But his teammates did not see him. Gordon's promised a goal. Will he get any ice time in overtime? He will. 3.14 to go. And Gordon's hopping on the ice. Here come the Vancouver Canucks. Pedersen. Now Gordon's the last man back. Gordon gets down and breaks up that play. And now back the other way. A chance here for the Canadians. Two on one potential. Gordon the backhand shot stopped by Demko. Getting called to the bench. Dvorak dumps the puck in. Petrie. Get on Tyler Myers. Let's move the puck. Gordon comes away with the puck. Gordon out in front. He scores. Overtime winner, Josh Gordon. The kid finally comes through on his promise. Coach, we got a goal in clutch time. And the Canadians win the game 1-0. Let's salute the crowd at the Bell Center. What a play there in the corner. I think it was from uh, Jeff Petrie to hold on to his man. Gordon came out with the puck straight to the front of the net. Beats Demko high glove. And the Canadians win the game one nothing. What do you got to say to me, coach? Nice snapshot. Promised success. I never gave him a chance with that release, despite the fact that I tried it like three times before that and missed the shot. Coming off his first career overtime winner, Josh Gordon looks to get a second consecutive win for the Canadians. It's not going to be easy this time, though, because the Canadians are facing Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. I feel like um, Dadanov was the one who got absolutely buried in the last episode. Here's Gordon with the puck now. He's trying to beat Kasperi Kapanen into the back. He does beat Kapanen into the back. Gordon comes out in front. It's an offensive zone turnover, and I felt like I kind of just got a little bit Nick there on my way to the front of the net. Carey Price moved that puck. Let's move it up to Hoffman. Nice breakout pass there from Gordon. Hoffman's into the zone. He wires it there. It's a great stop there by Tristan Jari. Long shift here for Gordon. And he'll skate to the bench here. Here comes Gordon through the center of the ice. Looking to take on multiple penguins. He stalls. Delays the quick shot. Stop there by DeSmith. I made the mistake in the first period calling him Tristan Jari, but it's Casey DeSmith in that for the Penguins. And once again, that's Gordon's only shift of the period. Still a 0-0 game for the second time. Will Gordon be a hero in a 0-0 game for the second consecutive game? And here comes Coach again. He's looking for Gordon. There's the tap on the shoulder. And you know... All he ever wants from me is goals, but he never plays me. So we'll try and bring it home again for the Canadians. I'm shaking my head again. Like, coach, you got to give me more ice time throughout the course of the game. Gordon just wasn't able to skate out of the puck there. He'll drop it back for Romanov. The quick shot, the rebound. Oh, man, I thought it was going to be a shot and a deflection. Instead, it went onto my stick, and I was not prepared to take that shot as quickly as it came. And uh, DeSmith was able to make that save on that ever so slight delay. And here come the Penguins through the zone. There's Sidney Crosby with the shot. And the Canadians will turn him away. Hoffman into the zone. Gordon going to the front of the net for the screen. Funneled around behind the net. Gordon screening the goalie. Still screening. Still screening. The deflection. And it's stopped by DeSmith. And he'll hang on. Once again for the second consecutive game. We're going to overtime. Tied at zeros. 
Gordon was the hero in the last game, will he get some ice in overtime this time? A second in. They won the draw. They must have. No. For some reason, there was a whistle one second in. And Coach has already decided to make that change. Okay. Don't understand the logic in this one. Dvorak. Checked. Gordon will do the smart thing here. Skate the puck out of the zone. And pick up speed. The turn. To get around. Gordon to the front of the net. They whack away at it. And DeSmith makes the save. Can the Canadians get back here? Gensel has got the puck. Quick stop there by Carey Price. Now here's Gordon. In. He stops. He's waiting. He's looking. He gets hep leveled there by Crosby. In an offensive zone play. Crosby in. He's checked. And once again, the puck's turned over. Gordon makes the move around his man. Gordon to the front of the net. The rebound. Goes off of a couple guys. DeSmith makes the save. That's probably going to be it for Gordon. Unless he gets a chance in the shootout. Overtime session comes to a close here. No winner is found. And I believe for the second time this season, the Montreal Canadiens will go to a shootout. Will Gordon get a shot? We'll see here. Crosby first up. Stopped by Carey Price. Suzuki, the alternate captain in this universe. Chance to score. He does! Gensel in. Stopped by Carey Price. And that means the next goal for the Canadians can win it. And it's up to number 92. Jonathan Drouin with a chance to win it. Stopped by DeSmith. Trying to keep the Penguins alive. The crowd will let you know how he does. He scored. The shootout's tied 1-1. But the Canadians will have a chance to win it here. Dadanov rings it off the post. I was so shocked to see Dadanov playing there. I didn't know what to say. Here's Latang now. Latang comes in. Stopped by Carey Price. Is the shootout going to last forever? And will Gordon get a shot? Here's Dvorak with a chance to win it. Dvorak in. Stopped. And we move on. There's Callie Yarncrook playing for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Stopped there by Carey Price. Is it my time to shine? It is. Gordon hopping off the bench with a chance to win it. Glove stop by DeSmith Stone. I wanted to be the hero. Unable to do so. There's a goal there from Teddy Bluger. Colin Miller. Can't put it past DeSmith. And the Penguins will win this one in a lengthy shootout. Gordon had a chance to keep his promise to coach. But he was unable to do so. Coach, what do you have to say? It wasn't what I had it in mind. Coach, I did my best. I won you the last game. I can only score so many goals. And I feel like teams are beginning to isolate me because nobody else on this team is scoring. It's a promise failed. But we still have one more chance to get that second win. Winning two out of three for coach. We'll see if we do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching.